couple of months ago, I did a video on generators and the safety of using generators. Mainly, I was concerned about carbon monoxide. But then, this week, I hear this story, which is absolutely amazing. Check it out. More than 4,000 acres of Tooele County have burned, and tonight, Stockton police have the man whose, quote, reckless actions allegedly caused the Jacob City fire behind bars. Tuesday, police say a car told them he plugged a circular saw into the generator, and the saw's cord had been, quote, cut, spliced, and taped back together. The saw then got extremely hot, and Carr allegedly set it on the back of the RV right next to a gas can. Police say he then plugged the RV into the generator and went inside. Ten minutes later, he heard a noise and found the top of the generator on fire. Are trying to put it out, but nearby cans of gasoline only accelerated it. Well, that is just crazy, right? I really feel bad for this guy. He did put the saw too close to a gas tank, but I never would have thought a hot saw would have would have done that. So I don't think his intention was to blow up his brand new generator and burn down the forest. So I really, really feel bad for the guy. But his brand new generator burns up. He loses all his property and he burns down the forest. And then to boot, he gets arrested. So I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Like I said, I, I really kind of feel bad for the guy. But you know, I, I think what this goes to show is that when we're using generators, we have to be very careful with them. At first, I thought it was just with the carbon monoxide, but, you know, anywhere that where there's something, a, a flame near it or a, a, a stove, anything that, that could be cooking. I mean, this was a hot saw. I find it amazing that that started a fire. But And he, he also had a lot more gas cans stacked next to or positioned around the generator, which probably wasn't a good idea. So when I first heard the story, it really scared me because all I heard was a brand new generator that blew up. And I'm like, oh my goodness, because sometimes I'm afraid to use our generator. So I felt a little better knowing, okay, it wasn't like it was a brand new generator that blew up for no reason. There was user error or negligence I guess is what the police charged him with. But um, still, it's very concerning to know how easy that something like this could happen. So the point is you need to be really, really super careful when you're using generators. I'm going to put that to a very short clip of generator safety. I'm going to put it right after this. So please be safe, everyone. Take care. If you want to have a safe camping experience, you need to take some precautions. It's not just with generators. We use propane stoves and lanterns, heaters, all sorts of things like that. So we need to be careful because all of these will admit carbon monoxide. So the best thing you could do is get a carbon monoxide detector. Also have a smoke detector and a fire extinguisher. 500 people die each year from carbon monoxide poisoning. Make sure you know how to properly use a generator. Make sure you read the instructions. Position generators outdoors well away from any structure. This could be 15, 25 feet away. And know the signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear?